Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. On our last day to Jasper, we went and visited Mount Edith Carvel. And in the parking lot here, we were quickly greeted with signs warning of uh, tsunamis, I guess. The ice on the glacier has been known to fall off and cause quite a bit of damage, so they wanted us to stick to just the trails. The mountain itself is about 3,300 meters and the peak is named after a British nurse executed during World War II, or World War I, I should say, for her part in helping Allied prisoners escape occupied Brussels. The trail we took was uh, part of the Meadows Trail and is roughly 8.4 kilometers and includes scenes of the Meadows, Angel Glacier, and the mountains itself. And you can see the glaciers there in the background. I should uh, also note we went in late July and the mosquitoes were abundant. Uh, to get to this mountain, uh, you need to go south of Jasper on Highway 93 and then take the Cavell Road, which will give you beautiful views of the Astoria Valley along the way. And the parking lot, again, like every other uh, place in a national park, can bit get pretty full quick. We were there again about 7 ish in the morning. As mentioned before, it's highly recommended that hikers stay to the trails and away from the cliffs. Uh, don't approach the Cabell Pond or the Angel Glacier, as fairly large blocks of ice can come off and create tsunamis. Some flora in the area. Mount Edith Cavell is the highest peak in Alberta and the mountain is a source of uh, fresh water for the province. The mountains in this area are the source of the North Saskatchewan, the South Saskatchewan and Athabasca rivers. So this area is pretty important to Alberta. The mountains themselves are probably from the Cambrian and were formed roughly 500 million years ago. So that gives you a brief history of the area. Now we'll just get on to the trails. The area as you can see is pretty rocky. These are the moraines that are formed from those uh, water vents. There is some forest as you walk along the trail. And you will see quite a bit of uh, animals in the area too, if you're lucky. This is the uh, Cavell Pond at the base of the Angel Glacier area. And then you can see at the top of the frame there is Angel Glacier. And its meaning is fairly obvious. You can see the outstretched wings of the body below it. view of Cavell Pond. You can see the bits of the glacier in the pond too, so there's been some breaking off recently. Beautiful waterfall coming from the glacier itself here. Unfortunately, because of the rules and the dangers associated with it, could not get any closer. Um, again, there was a lot of forest fire smoke in the area, so the images are a bit fogged over I guess you could say but still not bad gives you a pretty good idea of how it looks but for safety's sake this is as close as I could get with the current zoom lens I had but it still gives pretty good views of the glacier this is looking over top of one of the moraines yeah these little guys they're everywhere these little pikas and uh they're pretty cute. I like them. Unfortunately, I couldn't get any video of them making their little squeak sound. My wife's got them, I believe, making the squeak sound. If you want to check out her video, uh, you can just go into my About page there, and I've got a link to her site on my channel here. But they are adorable. Another view of the glacier. Yeah, these guys too, these are uh, marmots. 
And it wasn't hard to find these guys either, at least in late July. Another view of the Pika. Chewing his grass. Yeah, this guy. I love the uh, shot of this guy with the tree and the mountains in the background. He stood there forever. I slowly kept on creeping up slowly and slowly towards him, getting a better shot. And he never moved. I was really happy for that. Hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. See you soon.